No stars. No galaxies. Just darkness. For decades, that patch of sky was ignored. A cosmic blind spot. Then James Webb stared. Days. Collecting the faintest photons ever captured. The image that returned shattered everything. Where Hubble saw 10,000 galaxies, Webb revealed nearly 800,000 in a patch smaller than a grain of sand held at arm's length. The universe wasn't sparse. It was overflowing. For generations, astronomers counted what they could see and guessed the rest. But that approach was flawed. It was like estimating a city's population by standing on one street corner at midnight. Hubble couldn't see infrared light stretched by cosmic expansion. Webb could. The galaxies weren't new. They were invisible. Scientists told Webb to stare at Hubble's field for 250 hours. No shortcuts. No filtering. Just patience. The result? Nearly 800,000 galaxies. Each with billions of stars. Each star possibly hosting planets. All hidden in what looked like nothing. If we were wrong in one tiny patch, estimates for the entire universe were wrong too. The observable universe might contain tens of trillions of galaxies. Then Webb found galaxies that shouldn't exist. Massive, luminous, organized, appearing when the universe was only 290 million years old. According to old models, this was impossible. Yet the data held. The early universe was violent, chaotic, and efficient. The universe did not ease into complexity. It exploded into it. The universe is 13.8 billion years old. The observable edge? 46 billion light years away. Space expands. Galaxies move faster than light, not breaking physics, but stretching space. Some galaxies are already beyond reach. Their light will never reach us. Webb didn't just reveal galaxies. It revealed loss. Continuous, irreversible loss. We live in a brief era when the universe still reveals itself. There is no single shared universe. Every observer exists inside their own observable bubble. Reality is partial. Distance fractures time. Some civilizations may never know each other exists. The universe is filled with histories, not conversations. Numbers become violence to intuition. Trillions of galaxies. Quintillions of stars. The human mind was never built for this. Web does not comfort you. It expands reality until your sense of importance breaks. Then you realize, meaning is not about size. It is local. Fragile. Rare. Significance exists where awareness reaches. Darkness was never empty. It was full. Full of galaxies, histories, and events that never asked to be seen. Webb shows the universe fragments itself. Most of reality will never touch you. You will never touch most of it. Yet here you are. Alive in the rare moment when the universe still allows itself to be known. Meaning was never about scale. It is about consciousness. Awareness. You exist. You observe. And that may be enough.